GRT's massive breakout is just getting started and at the time of this recording we have now managed to break above resistance at the 0 0.1506 in a move that has also managed to break above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart flipping it back into support and the next key area of resistance that we need to see a break above lies above the 0 0.165 and on today's video, I will be discussing my breakout target areas, basing my analysis on the additive structures. So make sure that you stick around till the end of the video. And starting the video by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening since the 5th of August when we saw a massive breakdown move, giving us a low below the $0.113 before we started a very nice bounce to the upside where we first picked in this edit wave count one and after we saw the high for that first wave I was expecting a bit of a breakdown move in an edit wave count two whose minimum target areas I have highlighted on the charts using this red target area and this is an area that we almost fully maximized and started to see a reaction of that target area then we had been stuck within this consolidation range over here until finally yesterday we started to see a break above resistance at the 0 0.1506 in what I now believe is the start of an impulsive additive count 3 whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that additive count 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies above the 0 0.175 then once we have a high in place in this edit wave count 3 i will be expecting a pullback in an edit wave count 4 before we can finish off this five wave structure to the upside in an edit wave count 5 and for us to fully maximize our minimum target areas in this edit wave count 3, we first need to see GRT give us a break above resistance above the 0 0.165. The moment that plays out with a successful retest, then that will be increasing our likelihood to fully maximize our minimum target areas in this edit wave count 3. And in case of any sudden pullbacks, we need to see GRT hold above support above the 0 0.1506 because if by any chance we lose this key area of support there are chances of seeing further breakdown moves uh, until we find support at the 0 0.1257 and the 0 0.1241 so that is the price action that I'm expecting here on the GRT chart for the next coming hours and those are my breakout target areas so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you up to date.